Welcome everyone. So I just wanted to go over the quick news story that happened today. Michael Parsons, the chairman of the Cardano Foundation is no longer with the Cardano Foundation. He has resigned immediately and he is being replaced by someone by the name of Pascal Schmidt. And the reason why this is big is because these past few weeks and months, there has been an ongoing investigation as to what's going on within the Cardano Foundation. If you're not familiar with what the Cardano Foundation is and what its purpose is in this ecosystem, the Cardano project is split up into three companies. You have IOHK, you have Emergo, and you have the Cardano Foundation. IOHK is responsible for building the code and building the Cardano project. All the features that you hear of in the Cardano roadmap, whether it's multi-signature transactions or Plutus or Marlowe or Haskell, all those words that you hear, IOHK is building this project. And Emergo as well, they have some scientists over there as well. Cardano Foundation is not building the project, so this project was never in jeopardy to start off with. Um, the Cardano Foundation is the community aspect of this project. They were supposed to be the ones building out this community, um, reaching out and building partnerships, uh, advocating for new legislation, just really getting out there, being proactive and spreading the word. And as you can see that Charles Hoskinson has actually been doing the work of the Cardano Foundation. I mean, he's traveling all over the world, um, evangelizing and spreading what Cardano can actually do. And um, so Michael Parsons and the Cardano Foundation, they just haven't been pulling their weight. So he resigned. Um, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the Guardians of Cardano, but they really brought it to light as far as the community aspect of investigation. They released an open letter one, which was a recap of everything that was going on and all the questions that they have for the foundation regarding wallets and what they were actually doing and dates and these weren't answered. So they launched a petition and they had thousands and thousands and thousands of signatures from the community members who supported this 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 effort. And then they released a investigation part two where they were tying the links between different people that work within the project. And it was really some CSI type stuff. I mean, the Cardano Foundation was getting exposed. So now we're moving on from now. Uh, Michael Parsons resigned and we have a new figurehead in charge. Why do I think that this is important? This whole aspect of the community getting together and representing themselves and fighting for which direction they want the project to go to is huge, it's huge. Um, it's very underrated, and this is very indicative of how governance is going to happen within the Cardano ecosystem. If you don't like the way a direction or the direction a project is going, you'll be able to vote, and you'll be able to get your voice heard. And obviously, the Guardians of Cardano, their voices were heard. They took extreme risks to do what they were doing, and they, they went all out. They went all out. So if you see a Guardian in the Telegram chat, just... Send, send an appreciation because they did some pretty incredible work. So I'm excited of how this is going to translate to governance. So as far as Pascal Schmidt, I'm not sure who he is, um, but he has he's the interim chairman. Uh, I wish him the luck. I wish him good luck with his, his role as chairman of the foundation. Um, I'm not sure if interim means that they're going to be looking for a new one or he is going to be the um, he is going to be the chairman moving forward. Either way, I just wanted to say that I hope that the new chairman, Mr. Sh Mr. Schmidt, stays focused on the Cardano project. You know, one of the one of the most upsetting things was the lack of focus. And I don't know if this is a full time job, a full time gig or uh, whatever the case may be. I just would like for the chairman to stay focused on the Cardano project not to focus on any other blockchain project and um, not to focus on any other competitors. You know, if you like Cardano, like Cardano, you know, um, it's OK to be invested in other cryptocurrencies and whatnot. But when you're the figurehead of the foundation, I want to see those partnerships being made. I want to see the effort being put out there. I wish Mr. Schmidt the best of luck. His The community expectations are very high, so I'm sure he has uh, pretty big shoes to fill. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So whatever you think, please drop it in the comments below. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next video, thank you.